My name is Michael Miller. I go by Miller at the brewery. I'm 37 years old. I work for a new Belgian brewing company. I treat my job like it's like it's my own business. We believe in ownership in the United States. We believe in individual responsibility. And we want people to own the things that are core to their existence. But somehow or other, we forgot to extend that to the workplace. My name is Carlos Crabtree. I work as a project executive at DPR Construction. DPR Construction is a national builder focused on primarily technical market sectors. We talked a little bit about the culture and how it would operate, that it would be innovative and different from the traditional construction company. Uh, my name is Wade Andrews. I'm a co-owner of Namaste Solar and also a residential lead installer. Everything is interconnected. Everything is interdependent. And that's really the approach that we bring to our business, that the community, the economy, the environment, they are all connected. The whole thrust of science is to make the capital worker endlessly and progressively more productive. The combination of open book management, employee ownership, and what we call high involvement culture, that's an incredibly powerful thing. Because I'm an owner in New Belgium and there's open book management, then I'm able to do this and do a half a million dollar transaction you know, a warehouse worker, a dock, you know, a forklift driver is doing this. The data's in that it's a, a piece of the, you know, the equation that can help your company be successful. And there's a gap, in my opinion, right now, in between that being taught in business schools and the need for that in business schools. I just can't imagine making an argument that freedom is not the, the ultimate end game and empowerment. It, there's no way that that's not the right answer. I don't think there's a reason to feel like you're giving up control so much as you're collaborating with your co-workers to build something that's even more. We're not putting gold bricks in our basement. All the money is coming back into this business and we want you guys to see where that money is going to. I think American business has come through a serious crisis. Wages have become relatively flat. We need to think about what kinds of corporate organization are likely to create jobs that will stay in the United States and create stable employment. Capitalism has a problem. It's not that capitalism is wrong, but rather capitalism is right. And the problem is that there aren't enough capitalists. There are examples where employee ownership wasn't a good fit. It's a two-way equation. The employee has to want to be empowered, have an ownership mentality. We need to start thinking about the kids and the grandkids and what's going to happen to them if we don't do something different. It's the security factor. It's the fact that uh, I know my company is going to work hard for each other and uh, that's what's going to secure the future for myself and my family. If everybody feels that sense of uh, pride and, and responsibility, we can change the world and do great things. Everybody then has the same data, same information you know, knows how to play it, all right? knows where they fit in, knows how they make a difference, but at the end of the day can throw their fists up in the air and say, yeah, I made it, and I got it. I didn't get it alone, but I got it with everybody else. When I think about employee ownership, I think it's about a culture of responsibility, a culture where people feel like taking care of their own future is an opportunity that is presented to them, and then it's up to them to take advantage of that opportunity. 